Hey folks, welcome. Uh, we are going to be doing basically signups for a game. Uh, I have a couple things, like three things I want to talk about in this video. The first is I want you to get you hyped for a late age OM series I have coming up. Uh, I'm playing my first real Dominions enhanced game. Uh, and I'm playing, so I've never played, I played it in a blitz once, but I never used any of the stuff. Um, so I'm playing it where I'm actually like trying to understand the mod. Um, we're playing it with Late Age Ohm, which is not one of the nations that got changed much. It's It plays a lot like vanilla Late Age Ohm, except they can take advantage like everyone else can of all the generic stuff available to, uh, to nations in Dominions Enhanced. So uh, anyway, we're playing on it. We spawned in England, and uh, we're doing okay in it. The game's like turn 70-something. Um, and it doesn't seem like it's going to be ending super soon. Uh, so anyway, it's a, it's pretty cool, but like it gets the scale of it is just astronomical. It's like I think we started with sixty something players. So you really have to be a glutton for pain because if you are successful, if you achieve all of your early game ambitions, the reward is managing an empire the likes of which will burn your brain to cinders and destroy your will for life. <laughs> so if that sounds like a fun thing to you, um, then you may want to get in on the next round. So first round is ongoing. Uh, it's going to be going up on the channel. I've already recorded a lot of it. And I'm playing Lady Age Home. Second round is starting. And we fixed a lot of things on the map. So I'm going to talk a little bit. Um, what we're going to do, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the game. We're going to talk about the changes we made to the map. Then I'm going to show you the mod. Um, so first, the game and the map. So the game is played on this map, which is a bunch of planets that are connected through these stars. And I'll try to have links for, it may not be the latest final final version, but I'll try to have some links for each of these things in the description. And if I don't, ping me. But um, basically there's these planets, and a lot of these, like, this may look familiar. This is from the Valanis map, which was kind of cut out and spherized. Or circleized, I guess. It's not a sphere. And then... I don't know where all these maps have come from. Um, Fall, we have Fall of Sorrow. Uh, we have God's Glory. That's a map that should be familiar to some of them. Blando's Avernus. That's a map that people will know of. And yeah, basically that's what's going on. So there's a bunch of these things. And you can get from one planet to another through the stars and these little space critters that are running around. And the idea is that... Uh, you know, you can go from this place up to the seahorse and from the seahorse down here. Now, it used to be there were the only way to get between planets, or not the only way, but mostly the only way was through these stars. And it was really choke pointy in the original game. So one of the changes we made from the original game to this new one, the second round, is the stars are much less choke pointy. So like this used to be a star. And instead of a star, it's a really cool planet, Wartman's Water World. It's a little moon. And the moon has this little thing. So you can hop on. Okay, well, you'd think this would be connected down here since it's got the little trail. Maybe that's a bug. But anyway, um, this actually is super weird. Wait, where is it connecting to? Okay, something's buggy here. We'll have to go in and fix it. Note to self. But, um... Anyway, the, the game hasn't started. We still have, and there's been some other changes to the maps, but we probably need to go through and proofread everything again if I'm finding something like this when I'm streaming. But, um, yeah. Basically, instead of having to go through one choke point now, you there's a lot more. So now there's like two provinces. It should be easier to get from one planet to another. There's also, in general, more connections, like more ways to get off planet. Like here, you can go from this island to this island. Um, if we come over... This connects, this connects, you know, these connect. Uh, not all of these do. There's a portal here which takes you all the way over to these other worlds. And generally, things are much more connected. And that was a problem in the first one. It was There were only a few ways off several of the planets, and then once you were off, you had to go through choke points. So in this way, hopefully the map's much more open for people to kind of go where they want and pick wars where they want. Um, we've also reduced the general water count... So there's going to be less water compared to land, which I think was probably a good change. So if you wanted to play a water nation, the last map was very water nation favored, and it's been significantly reduced. There's much less water. 
Um, but there's probably still room in the game for another uh, few Water Nations. So if you are a Water Nation enthusiast, you can probably join. If you're a Land Nation, um, right now the Land Nations in the original are all doing pretty well. Or not all of them, but I mean, it, it's probably on average better to be a Land Nation. Um, just because it's easier to get bigger, I think. Um, but some of the land starts were not very good. Like there was a start down here that was pretty bad. Um, I, I think England is one of the worst starts on the board too. But anyway, there's a lot of really good land starts too. Like over here, there's some phenomenal land starts that are just like game winningly good. So anyway, there's a lot. Um, but that's basically the map. We're going to be playing, like I said, with the Boz mod on and Dominions enhanced and then maybe a, a couple other small mods. Um, and yeah, we're going to be playing on this map. The turn timer is very rigid. So I think it's like 24 hours for maybe a little bit, then 36 and then 48. But like, I think we're on like 40 hours right now and it's pretty late in the game, but there's no extensions because there's too many people. If we had extensions, we'd never get a turn done. So anyway, it's a very thick schedule and you know, it can take a while. So if you're a glutton for punishment um, and you want to have your mind burnt to cinders by playing on a map this big, then maybe this is the game for you. If you're not and just want to, you know, are interested in the um, the mods, I'm going to show you a little bit about them. So Boz mod, I mean, Dominion's Enhanced, we're not going to do a full explanation of. But Boz mod, I'll talk a little bit about since you're probably not familiar with it. Um, the, the thing I will say, so we've also got one nation or one era mod on because that's the only way to have enough nations in a single era to fill up a 70 player map so you can see they're all like old means early age and then middle means middle age and new means late age so anyway there are all these nations you're familiar with that are all combined and then there's a bunch of nations that are from dominions enhanced like altera and great errata and tartary and rotterland these are all nations that are in dominions enhanced that are not in uh, vanilla a lot of these are really strong, too, and have really crazy mechanics. So anyway, they're pretty strong. And then there's some nations that were added um, as part of Boz mod. And I'll show you those. Like, this is one that Boz wanted me to show off. Um, and he's developing a game. Um, I don't know how far along it is or anything. But anyway, the, the idea of, like, these little uh, rodent beast people riding dinosaurs is from that game, I think. Um, but this nation, I played in single player to test it out and try to give some balanced feedback for him. Uh, I can't promise you that I've balanced it enough. It may be overpowered still. But basically the idea, and brace yourself, is that it's foreign recruit sacred units. That's this guy. You can get these guys anywhere you put a temple down. You don't need a fort. Now you may want a fort because with a fort you're going to be able to get a lot more per turn because you're going to have more resources, more recruitment. But you don't need to. Uh, and yeah, so you get these guys, you're going to get potentially very large amounts of them. And furthermore, when they capture enemy capitals, they get a thing like a site that's going to improve their bless. So after like eight capitals, they potentially going to have significantly ble better bless than they started with. So it's like very highly scaling sacreds. They also have some kind of cool in-game summons with like big dinosaurs and stuff, they, dragons and stuff they get at the end. Their mage core is not super awesome. They've got the fire nature, which a lot of these cross paths, for those of you who aren't playing, familiar with Dominion's Enhanced, a lot of these st stupid cross paths like this are better in Dominion's Enhanced than they are in vanilla. I don't specifically know the fire nature one, but anyway, they've got, they've got these guys. The other major mechanic for this nation is they've got these breeders, which make little babies, and the babies grow over time uh, into big warriors like this guy. Um, and so anyway, it's a free spawn thing where you get basically huge amounts of free spawn, spawn fodder. I think they cost gold upkeep though, um, but it doesn't matter. You just march them off to die, and uh, if they're lucky, they will evolve into a good soldier before they meet their end. If they're not so lucky, they will die as a little baby, as so many Ken gobs will. And uh, yeah, that's basically this nation. Crazy free spawn scaling... Crazy free spawn and uh, scaling sacred production. Is it balanced? I don't know. Join the game and find out. Um, 
No, I, I did play. They're not going to... If they... I have no idea how they're going to do in the mid and late game. I think they're balanced for the early game. But how they scale... Ooh, I don't know. And Boz puts stuff in there that... Honestly, he either doesn't want my feedback on or I haven't seen or don't fully understand. So I give you no promises of balance. Um, there's a bunch of other nations, too. I think some of these are also from the Confluence mod by Executor. Uh, so you can check those out, too. I think, I, th I think like, this might be, but I'm actually not sure. Like this. I feel like this is from Confluence. It looks kind of like a Confluence thing with cool sprite work. Uh, anyway... But, uh, yeah, there's a few of those nations that got added. They were not in the original. And the other thing is there's... Uh, I think this is the other one I'll just show you. There's a new one. Oh, there's some also some nations from the Fourth Age, which is a mod pack that I think Tired Tale Teller and some others are working on. So there's a couple... Apparently this has some crazy stuff. I don't have anything with the Fourth, the fourth Age, like after Late Age, Felegra is like... I haven't even looked at it, but I've heard it's got some crazy stuff. And then we've got Krieg Legions of Hell, which has these guys. Basically, it's a they have a, a bunch of demons that spawn through events. They had some other things in it before. This has been removed. This guy used to be like a the had recruit anywhere mages that were Dominion spreaders. Yeah, that could be really cancerous. Um, they were removed. Or the Dominion spreader part was. I think they have some other mechanic like Heretic or something. Um, like Heretic only in enemy lands, something like that. Um, which you can achieve through like shape-shifting and um, in enemy dominion, which I think might be a thing. I, I don't really know how that all works, but they've been kind of nerfed, but the units are really easy to kill, but they hit really hard. That's basically the thing for this nation. Um, anyway, there's a bunch of stuff. If you want to have a fun time and, well, fun time for about 40 turns, and then if you want to subject yourself to the late game torture of trying to take over uh, a, a, an actual world filled with all sorts of nation states and alliances between nations, and I don't know, it, it's crazy. I, I've had a ton of fun playing the original game, but if you don't have the time for it, or if you don't like micro, it's probably not the game for you. Um, but I've had a, a ton of fun playing the, the first round. So if you're interested, sign up. I'll have a link to my Discord in the description. If you like the mods or the maps, I should have links for those in the description too. Um, but, I mean, yeah, and you can just play that single player if you want to. Um, the other final thing I'll talk about, and I know I mentioned the mod stuff, is the, the other final thing about the mod is they've... Um, there's a bunch of new pretenders that got added. So if you've only played vanilla, like... Me, I was a vanilla only person, and I still, after, I will say, after playing Dominions Enhanced, it's fun. There's cool stuff. I specifically like some of the things they've done to give more nations flavor. I don't love a lot of the generic stuff. I think there's a lot of like game breaking stuff in there that I don't necessarily love, and I don't like all the design decisions. I've had a ton of fun playing it, so I'm glad I did. But I'm just put my two cents in for Dominions Enhanced. There, it's it's cool. Like. Mad props to Red Rob. Very cool. A lot of these pretenders here, by the way, also Dominions Enhanced Pretenders. The dragons in particular are not... Like, these are special dragons. And these are not from Dominions Enhanced. These are part of Boss Mod. And the idea is to have, like, kind of actually fearsome dragons. So this is like a soulless dragon, a dragon zombie. He's a corpse eater, so he gets a little bit more HP every turn. Uh, he tramples, but doesn't have wings, so he can't fly. In my version, the last game, this was the pretender I picked. And he actually could fly in that one. Um, which was nice, but in some ways it's actually not great. Um, anyway, he has pretty good map move anyway. So, anyway, it's a cool chassis. It's mindless. With some other things. Um, there's some other crazy stuff. I, do we have a Shadow Dragon here? Those are it's probably one of the more broken ones. Black Dragon's kind of cool. It has Acid Splash, so if you hit it, you take Acid Damage. The Crystal Dragon kind of cool, because Earth Astral, very cool paths on a god, and then it's got super high protection and all, um, and reduces unrest. Also is Mindless, which is a double-edged sword. The Sanguine Dragon, which it's got this thing, which causes basically uh, agony to get spammed around it. Um, and it also... Bow of Trees. The hell? Um, anyway, there's a bunch of cool... Dragons, this is not by any means all of them. We'll see if we can find another crew of dragons. Uh, let's see what Micklin's got. 
like the mutant dragon is one. This is basically like a Titan slash dragon, reasonably priced at 250. Goes berserk, also has a little bit of shattered soul. I think that might be part of Dominion's enhanced. There's a bunch of things. So check out uh well, let me see. I, I know one of them. I'm going to show you the Shadow Dragon, which in my opinion, borderline completely broken. Uh, we did. I did manage to get it a bit nerfed. But where is Lemuria? Because I know Lemuria has access to it. It's one of the worst nations you can take it on. Yeah, this thing. So built-in ethereal and invisible. So good luck hitting it. Also has dark power. So if it casts darkness, good luck. Um, by the way, has these armor negating attacks. Um, I don't think it has life steal. It might have used to. But if you, the thing is, if you take this, you're almost always going to take like an undead. Re I think it had regen. I think we got rid of it. I think that was the broken part because you could just go camp on somebody's capital like turn three with this, and there's not much they can do about it, especially if they don't have magic weapons. Uh, yeah, anyway, super strong expander. With this, you're probably going to take, like, because it's a, it's an undead unit, you would probably take, like, reforming flesh. And so this would be an absolute beast, especially as, like, an undead nation. Anyway, there's a bunch of cool stuff. Here's another dragon. They got added. Uh, I think this was added to the Singularity, which is basically a thousand, kills a thousand people a turn, but eats a ginormous amount. So it gets huge, absolutely huge which is something you could take as a pop kill nation. Yeah. Anyway, that's it, guys. Um, I've shown you the pretenders. I've shown you the mods. I've shown you the map. Sign it up in my Discord if you're interested. We probably have like 10, 15, 20 spots. But uh, if you're not interested, want to get the mods and map, do that too. Peace.